hi you guys it's Belle Beauty here and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about 3C4A essentials for me and what works for my hair. A lot of people always ask me how do I get my hair like this, how do I keep my curls refreshed and what I use in my hair and what's my process. So today I'm going to be telling you guys all about the products I use and the process that I go through and if you guys would like to see me actually doing my hair just let me know leave a comment down below in the comment section and let me know and I'll try to get that video out for you guys as soon as possible the first thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is something that I do to my hair every other week to maintain the softness just the flowiness of my hair um, I have been natural for almost two years. It'll be two years in October and I just love the natural life. I wore weaves to grow my hair out in the meantime and I just love how it's come out. I trimmed my own ends when I first started wearing my hair. I was super nervous to start doing it because I had no idea what I was doing. So I went on a YouTube search finding different ways to do my hair and what kind of products that I will be needing and the process that works for me and my hair. First, we're going to start with hot oil treatments. This is something I do every other week. I do my hair weekly and this is just olive oil from your local Walmart or uh, Kroger's or Randall's or whatever store you like to go to. Any olive oil will do in my opinion. This is called Carabinelle. It says best for cooking on the front and I take a generous amount of the olive oil. Um, not too much enough to fit in the palm of your hand after I have sectioned my hair into four sections. And after I take the olive oil in the palm of my hand, I take a little bit of Hollywood Beauty Tea Tree Oil. And this is from Walmart. It's about four or five dollars. And I put a little bit of in my hand along with the olive oil and they both smell so good together. And I run it through the section after I have moistened the section with um, warm water. And then after I have evenly distributed the oil throughout my hair, I just twist that section up and put it in a clip. And I let the hot oil sit on my hair for about three to four hours. About 30 minutes of the hot oil being on my hair, I sit under a hooded dryer with a plastic cap on my head. And I let the hot oil, I let the oil get hot and seep all the way into my scalp and it just feels so good on my hair when I'm ready to wash it out. Immediately when I'm ready to wash it out, um, it just, the comb just glides through because before I do the hot oil treatments, I do not detangle my hair. I may do a little bit of finger detangling, but I don't do any major detangling with any wide tooth combs or any Denman brushes. I wait till after and I'm ready to finish my process and go about my weekly routine to comb through and finger detangle and my hair just to make sure any knots are gone there any tangles that may have accumulated over the week so after I have rinsed all the oil out after those four hours I do co-washes I do not wash my hair with shampoo shampoo strips your hair of all of its essentials so I just prefer not to do it I use as I am coconut co-wash conditioner this can be found at your want local Walmart and it was about $7.97 at Walmart when I checked last night. And that's a pretty good price. No natural hair stuff, girl, it can get expensive, okay? It can be expensive taking care of this hair. You might as well have a weave taking care of this hair sometimes, honey. So that's what I do. I keep the hair in the four sections. I rinse through my hair with the warm water and I don't let it sit on my hair. I let it wash out after I have removed all the dirt and the oils out of my hair that have accumulated over time. So the next thing that I do every other week as well is deep treatment. Um, this is just to treat my hair and make sure my heat damage section is being well taken care of. It's um, by Shea Moisture um, with sea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair, heal, grow, and strengthen. And this can be found at your local Walmart as well. I believe it was around $9, 9 or 10 bucks. And if I'm not doing that, I'm going to use um, a regular conditioner and this is by Aunt Jackie's. I'm not sure where my mom get this, got this product from, but it says $7.99 on the top and it is just a moisturizing and softening conditioner and it works pretty good. I leave it on my hair for about 30 minutes if I'm not doing a deep treatment mask. 
So after I have conditioned my hair, my hair is clean, I have co-washed my hair, hot oil treated my hair, I go in with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Sea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. Naturally, chemically processed, color treated, or styled hair. What a long name. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure how much this product was. I believe it was around 11. Don't quote me, girl. I may, don't give me the line now. I use this as my leave-in conditioner. My hair is still in those four sections with my clips from my local beauty supply. These were 99 cents a pack, I believe. Again, don't quote me on these prices, girl. Only thing I know for sure is that as I am coconut, I looked last night and it was $7.97. Now I am ready to style my hair. When I'm beginning to style my hair, I, of course, put my part where I want it. And my back sections are still in clips. They're still in two, two side clips, two different sections. I distribute some more Hollywood tea tree oil. This is gonna stay in, I guess we can call this, call this the lock method, leave-in conditioner, oil, and a cream or a curling jelly. I leave that, I put that in the section that I'm gonna work on first, and I keep my spray bottle handy because I'm gonna keep misting my hair. I want my hair to be wet through this entire process. That's essential for this process. So I'm working on just this section first. I always start with this section and I use the holy grail of this whole process, Camille Rose Naturals Curler, Curl Maker. Oh my goodness, guys. This stuff right here, it smells so good. It's well worth the price. It is on the pricey side and it is 22 bucks. It can be found at your local Target or you can get it on CamilleRellosNaturals.com, I believe. After I have put all my leave-in, I've put my oil in and I'm ready to work on, you know, putting my hair into flat twist because I do flat twist outs once a week. And this is about a week old. <laughs> We're not going to pay attention to my hair right now. But I think it looks okay for a week old, you know. So I put my hair in smaller sections going back almost like looking like cornrows, but they're kind of like flat Swiss rolls. And I flatten it and I make these sections and I'll probably end up with about, I don't know, 10 flat twists all together. I end up with about 10 flat twists all together and I put them... Um, in my hair and at the top here I get about four flat twists on this side I get about three flat twists and the here's the thing though if you do not have a hooded dryer to sit under for at least two hours you are gonna have to let your hair or I have to let my hair dry for about two days Yes, my hair takes the entire two days. I can't take it out on first. I can't take it out on the first day in the middle. Of I need the whole two days, honey. My hair has to take because my, I work with my hair soaking wet. So if you want to do this process, I suggest you have a hooded dryer because you will be waiting for your hair to dry. And if you take your hair down way too soon, it's just going to get frizzy and it's going to be a mess. The curls will not be defined. And that ain't my fault, girl, because I told you, hooded dryer or you're going to have to wait. Or, you know, some people's hair dry faster than two days. This is how long it takes my hair to dry. The comb that I use to glide through my hair, I first start off with the wide tooth side. And then after the section is pretty much detangled, I flip it over onto this side and comb through my hair just to make sure my hair is not entangle free. And I'm telling you guys, you will notice the biggest difference after you have done your hot oil treatment because it just makes your hair so easy to glide through right when you're just rinsing the oils out. Not even when you have co-washed or washed your hair, whatever your process may be, it makes your hair so, so soft and you will notice a difference immediately. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys for my 3C4A naturals. This process probably works for a lot of naturals. I don't stop anybody from trying it. This is just what works for me and my hair. Also with the Camille Rose Naturals, the curl maker, this product works pretty good for wash and goes as well. I may do a video where I show you guys how I would do my wash and goes. I'm not a wash and go girl, flat twist out girl. So if you guys would like to see me doing a wash and go for 
for you guys. I will show you guys how I do that. I probably will be using the same products and I learned a lot of my techniques from um, just different YouTubers, different girls who are going through the same process. Um, the My Natural Sisters, she put me onto the Camille Rose Curl Maker, as well as Natural Eleanor. I love her, you guys. I actually just met one of the My Natural Hair Sisters yesterday in Sephora. I ran into her and I was like, in shock i was like oh my god i love you so i learned a lot of things from those women and a lot of things from other naturals um other people with smaller channels i just look up my hair type and i just go through a whole bunch of videos and find out what works for me so don't be afraid to venture out look, another thing that i do before i try two different products together as my stylers and my leave-in conditioner i take a little bit of the leave-in conditioner or whatever I'm using as my leave-in and I take a little bit of my curl maker because that is my you know top coat that's what I'm always going to use and I put a little bit in my hand I rub the products together and if the product turns clear on my hand I know the products will work great together and they will gel together well I got that technique from Mo Nose Hair she did that in one of her videos and when the product turned white in her hand, she knew that the products wouldn't work well in her client's hair. So I started using that technique and I didn't have to go on this huge band. I'm telling you guys, this technique works so well. And I think you guys should try it if you're gonna try other curl makers or other curling jellies. Let me know what you guys use in your hair in the comments down below. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys and thank you for watching.